Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from San Diego Comic-Con 2023. I'm over here at the Hasbro booth to talk with the G.I. Joe team. Happy Sunday, last day of Comic-Con, guys. Happy Holy Sunday. Yeah. We did it. We did it. We're here. <laughs> We're here. We're doing it. Oh my gosh, it's been quite the show. It's been it exciting. has. It's been a great show. It has. It has. It, has. it really it's, has. So much has. going on. There's been a lot of people in here. It really feels like old Comic-Con times it again. Does. We really yeah. noticed that walking around. You got the shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder thing. Yeah. yeah. And I feel wonderful. like fans have been excited yeah. and happy to see us and happy to have conversations, which is always kind of the vibe that we're going for. That's what we'd like people to be like, oh, great, it's so lovely to see you. Let's talk about toys. That's right, let's all geek out together yeah. about the things we love. That is yeah. absolutely right. Um, so the other day over at the preview breakfast, I got a chance to look at the Hiss tank up close, which was very cool. Uh, really appreciate you guys letting us get some up close looks at everything. But over here at the booth, uh, we have the Firefly on display, right? Oh, Dragonfly. The yep. Dragonfly. So fi for G.I. Joe history, uh, Firefly is actually a different guy. So we're, right. we're really into things that and fly I, on the yeah. G.I. Joe brand. I love that. I love yeah. that fly thing. So um, tell us a little bit about this amazing thing. I already yeah. got a lot of good footage of it. It's amazing. But uh, this is the current running HasLab, correct? So HasLab campaign just finished last Tuesday. Love it. So now the uh, Star Wars for Vintage, the Ghost is That's currently right. funding, which That's we are right. very excited about. But we finished up our Dragonfly. It is the second fastest funding HasLab of all time. Amazing. Uh, only beaten by the Hiss Tank. Um, but funded all three tiers. Uh, we're really excited. So it comes with four figures. It's almost 33 inches long. This oh, thing wow. is a behemoth. Myth. Yeah, it's 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 great because we were able to bring bring to life something so iconic using um, you know the help of our fans and just just it's it's incredible to be able to think about something so big coming to life. Um, I think what's really special about Haslabs is we take a handful of these really iconic vehicles and characters and things like that, and, and through the energy of the fans, we're able to bring them to life. Some of these like things that you never thought you'd ever be able to get. Yeah. And um, it's really exciting here at San Diego Comic Con to be able to uh, meet fans and, and even have people like to see this. And, like, oh my God! I never realized it was so big. Exactly. And it's very very exactly. cool. That's that was kind of my thing too. And you know, like seeing GI Joe make the jump to a six inch scale, very cool. But like. The original G.I. Joe line was all about the vehicles and the big play sets. And oh, you yeah. almost wouldn't think that that would translate to a six inch scale. But here you guys are doing it. And it's so impressive to see. And uh, plus all the care and attention into it. I was really impressed by the attachable missiles and like mm -hmm. the uh, blast effects and all the cool stuff yeah. you guys are doing. With I it. feel like we're, we're really into storytelling and world building. And sure. so everything that we can do, everything in our power that we can do to make things customizable for your personal version of what your GI Joe world is Love or it. what story you want to tell, we are all about. It. Yeah. It's, it's, I think what Lenny and the design team uh, have done on this brand is really magical. Not only are they, um, bringing to life G.I. Joe in a really cool new way, but they're really executing what is turning out to be one of the best in class uh, six inch action figure lines ever made. Right. And and it's a universe of interchangeable pieces and parts and storytelling, like Emily pointed out, that allows fans to like have the best versions of the characters that they've always wanted, but also introduce it to a whole new generation of people because G.I. Joe and its, its very uh, core has always been inspired by the pop culture world in which it yes, is. Yes, yes, amazing. Awesome. So, are there any new exciting reveals that maybe you want to go over with us from here at the show? Oh, gosh. Well, yes, sir. Uh, so, we have... <laughs> Tell us about everything. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we're going to... I'm going to do a super fast recap of, of our course. panel from yesterday. Yes. So, we did six name-only reveals. Jinx, Torch, the uh, SMS with the Techno Viper, a Retro Duke and Retro Scarlet on card backs. That's right. Now, with thicker card stock, we learn... And uh, then we are doing a vamp with clutch. So then we had our digital render reveals. So we did Python Patrol, Copperhead, and Cobra Officer. We did Buzzer, Ripper, Hawk, Helix, and Shockwave. And then we revealed our Crimson Strike team, which is going to be a three pack, which will be our PulseCon exclusive offering. We launched three items that will ultimately be available for pre-order Tripwire and our Fire Team 788, which are currently up on Hasbro Pulse. And then our Steel Core Trooper two pack, available on Hasbro Pulse and fan channel and an Amazon, Fanmazon, uh, that will be launching, I believe, on Monday. Somebody will correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, and then as a fun surprise, we actually showed digital renders of the VAMP and the SMS. We had in hand for our Crimson Strike team. And just as like a fun, because we like you so much, we threw Mutton Junkyard into the case when we got uh. back and comes with both 
good dog face good and a good, good boy, good, good boy face and a little it. bit more of a, a working boy face. Oh, yeah. I love that. that Gosh, so Emily, cool. that was impressive. Yeah, like, we, I love, we that. love you. Like that, <laughs> I'm, I'm blown away. Yeah. And, you've done uh, you know, before. I'm the yeah. product development guy here, and it's like really impressive. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm really <laughs> impressed just by how much this line has grown since it's inception. really has. I yeah. love seeing all of these characters being brought back to life and the six inch scale. So you guys are doing an incredible job with it. Uh, I wanted to ask too about this amazing display over here. Are these like two ups for they upcoming are. retro figures or just two ups of the old figures? Well, no, let me, let me, uh, let me uh, tell you a little bit about these things. So back in the 1980s, yeah, they would actually create these sculptures out of, um, you know, very very uh, humble materials like sure. like Bondo, Plumber's Buddy. They would build them to be twice the size, right. and then they would create several uh, what's called hard copies of them using resin and other materials. And they would create one that is called um, with like a tooling master, and they would anagraph that one down so it was smaller in scale. And then they would create uh, two paint masters. One of them would get shipped overseas to to have uh, as it's like a go by for the factory to create the paint on it. And then the other one would be a presentation model, which would stay in Rhode Island. So we were Emily was lucky enough to go into our vault, and along with a bunch of other amazing one of a kind art, we were able to find these these awesome two ups. Wow. And if you look closely some of them have little small differences yeah and it's it's uh it's it's the living history of the brand we all love it's that very very exciting cool. but i can tell you like there has been such a reaction to these things yeah. that like everyone's like oh my god when do these come out because there's something so iconic about the o-ring look and Definitely. and at this large scale you get to um sort of see all the nuances and I, I think it's just really neat. You know, Hasbro this year is celebrating its 100th anniversary. And we uh, have had such an incredible time gathering together all of these um, amazing elements of our childhood. Uh, not just guys from the 80s like me, but like the 90s, 2000s, yeah. 2010s. And it's just really, it's a really, really great time, especially here at Comic-Con. We all get together and celebrate something like that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love toy history especially like when you get to see kind of like the behind the scenes and the process of development. It's really exciting stuff. So, I mean, I was drawn to that immediately upon walking in here. I was like, what is this? It's, but it's so cool to know that those are like, those are original two ups. That's amazing. I love Have that. you gotten to, a chance to go over to our offsite? No, I have not. But I've heard that you've got a, some amazing like retro display. Yeah, so there. we have kind of a big collector shelf display. There is one additional two up. Crazy Legs is currently oh. at the offsite. And then we have pedestal displays of there's a Cobra Terror Drome. Uh, for Star Wars, we have an Ewok Village and an Imperial Shuttle. That is cool. There is a G1 My Little Pony Dream Castle Village set up. And yes. then for Mask, we have Boulder Hill. Oh, and nice. And so it's been nice. so much fun hanging out in that space and actually getting to hear people talk about, like, yes. oh, my God, I had that as a kid. Oh, my God, I haven't seen that in 20, 30, 40, right. 50, 60 years. Well, and it's it's been I didn't know you really... had Boulder Hill over there. That's yeah. cool. I, I know. know. We have a whole little place it's amazing. set up. Yeah, it's I know. amazing. All of these retro cases, even here in the booth, I mean, they've yeah. all been exciting. I mean, we really all love cool. seeing that stuff that we had as kids or wanted as kids. It's, it's exciting. And today's Pony Day. So both of our cases uh, in the front of the booth are My Little Pony theme today. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. <laughs> well, you guys talked a little bit about, like, G.I. Joe Classified and one of the things, like, you know, making it, like, your versions of the G.I. Joe or whatever. Sure. So yeah. I'm going to throw this out there. Ninja Force Zartan. Oh. oh. Keep that in mind, okay? I love so this idea. I, Neon green pants, bright orange mohawk, best you Oh, no. Here, here, here comes Emily with the rooted hair. <laughs> right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no, you didn't. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, imagine. So, what I'm imagining on a Ninja Force Zartan, right? Yeah. I, my big thing is Ninja Force rooted hair. I'm really into it. <laughs> so, imagine, yeah. if you will, comes with different masks all of which have different rooted hair in them that basically functions as a different wig for his figure. Wow, wow Emily. What, what do you I, think, John? I think you're onto something. I, I think we, we have to bring the neon, though, too. It's got to be oh, the yes. neon. And I think, so maybe, ooh, what if it's like a, a combination, what if he's masquerading as, like, members of Gem and the Holograms or oh, the Misfits <laughs> with, like, some of their, like, neon later on, I kind of their neon outfits. I, I, Emily, I think you're onto something. Yeah. I think it's I think a beautiful this, idea. I think this is it. This is I'm it. impressed that there's so much thought already into Ninja Force Zartan. This is amazing. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I, have, I spent a lot of my time thinking about how to get Ninja Force, Eco Warriors, yes, into the I, line, yes. ice cream 
soldier. Yes. We're very pro the ice cream M90s. soldier on this Let's team. Go. Let's go. That's what I want. <laughs> I love it. I think what's cool about classified and, 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 you know, you hear Lenny talk in the videos about this too, is that we're not just necessarily taking something exact and reproducing it. Mm -hmm. We're bringing it to life with new accessories, new parts. And in some cases, just the imagination of the incredible product development team and marketing yeah. team, branding team that we have at Asbro to bring a new character to life for an all new generation. And it's I love like, it. I, I think that's, what's really energizing the brand right now is that it's, it's a new way to collect and play and, in a scale that allows you to get all that awesome detail and maybe even reading rooted hair someday. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Yes. And I think that there's, <laughs> there's also something about classified that kind of transcends the nature of time. It, it does. It appeals to people who have a deep, history of, yeah. of the brand and understanding of the characters but also appeals to people who have no idea who these characters are but the figures right. look so gosh they darn cool yeah, that like yeah. you just can't but help want to have them in your collection or they have accessories that work with other six inch figure lines so if you collect maybe legends or black series no, like the accessories totally right. work with their figures too I mean, and so. so many of us are collectors of so many different types of lines too mm -hmm. so the ability of for them all to live on the shelf together oh it's great that's important yeah. right yeah, that's it's really great. cool that is awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, that, thank you so much for your time. This was a really awesome chat. Great way thank to start you. the final day of Comic-Con. <laughs> so yeah. Awesome. Well, there you guys go. Some inside info on Ninja Force Zartan <laughs> from the Hasbro booth. Thanks to the G.I. Joe team. And stay tuned. More coverage from San Diego Comic-Con is on the way. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at San Diego Comic-Con 2023. Follow Pixel Dan on YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Or you can support the channel through Patreon and unlock other exclusive content. Thanks for tuning in to your premier source for all things toys with Pixel Dan. See you again.